Hello, hello, hello. Good morning. It's Friday. It's Friday morning and it's time for another Fun Friday Paper Crafting Live. My name is Kate Bolt. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator here in the UK, bringing you weekly lives here on YouTube. Some fun paper crafting to round off your week. Good morning, good morning. I'm just going to wait and see if anybody joins me live before I do some crafting. Let's move all of these goodies out of the way. I've got some really beautiful paper here. Let's bring the camera in a little bit closer for my space. There we go. I don't know what, oh, I've got an inky mark here. I don't know what the weather is like wherever you are in the world, but it's pretty miserable here. It is quite warm though, so thankful for small mercies, hey. Yeah, it's uh, it's mild, but it's um, mild but muggy, I think is the word. Mild but muggy, there we are. We have, we have our, our camera set up all right, I think. Let me know if you're watching, if that looks okay to you. I'm just gonna stick my grid paper down a little bit. Stop it shuffling around my desk, which it likes to do when I'm crafting. Look, it's already moving. Okay, here we go, here we go. So, I thought today I'd bring you a couple of lovely, fun, quick cards using the artfully layered uh, stamp set and the tropical layers dies and then I brought in these gorgeous papers that are part of the suite and the other thing that's in these this suite is this beautiful ribbon so we're going to use a little bit of this it is called the frayed the frayed ribbon it is three quarters of an inch and it's frayed and it's soft and it's gorgeous. So we're going to use a little tiny bit of that. The other thing that's part of this suite are the faux sea glass shapes. Do you think I can find mine? No. So we'll, we'll use something else. They must have got stuck on behind another set or something, but that's fine. That is fine. I will show you what we're using this in our little Stampin' Up! catalogue here. We have got the mini, which is the January to June. So this runs all the way through to the end of next month. And it's this gorgeous suite, the Artfully Composed Suite. Isn't it stunning? I bought it mainly for scrapbooking, but I have made a ton of cards using this beautiful suite. Those are the faux sea glass shapes. Maybe I've used all mine. I have used them a lot. And I did run a class using this, so we used a lot of product in that. All right, so let's just pop that one to the side there. I'm seeing if I have the cards. I know I sent some out. That I made for the class, but I might I might have them. Anyway, right, here we go. So I thought I'd use this. Now this is, I've got this sheet left of all the papers. And I think I've got half another sheet left of all the papers. So I've used tons and tons. These are the gorgeous papers. They're called Artfully Composed 12 by 12 designer series papers. So you get 12 sheets, two each of six double-sided designs. Aren't they gorgeous? So those are those. And I think this is about the last sheet I've got. Oh no, I have a little bit of this one left as well. Here. Morning, Zaina, how are you? I hope you're very well. This one's nice. It's got this kind of script on the back. I don't know if you can see that. Uh, all of the papers in the suite are absolutely gorgeous, but this is all I have left. So I'm quite tempted to get another packet because it is not carrying over to the new annual catalogue this suite. Uh, and the papers don't tend to carry over anyway. So because the dyes cut this gorgeous paper out, I might well, before it's all gone, at the end of next month, get another, another, another pack because it's great. Okay, we're gonna make a couple of cards for this lovely end of the week Friday morning. I thought it would be quite fun to do that. Right, I have got a couple of samples made and I think this is the one we're gonna go with first. Right, so I've got all the bits and pieces. <clears throat> oh, do excuse me, I've got a croak in my throat and that's no good. Okay, so we have got, I picked some of the colors that are in, in the papers. If you're ever stuck, get out your designer series papers and have a look because they've designed, you'll know that all these colors will all match. So it's done for you, um, each other, I mean. So if you don't know what 
colours to use within your project. Just pick any designer series paper and look at what they've put together. It's a really easy way of going for it. Um, and of course, I love all these greens, so I decided to take those and use that as my card base. So I've got mint macaron as my card base there. Um, I've got a piece of white for my insert. I have got a piece of evening evergreen, which is one of last year's in colours, which is here and is still current. And then I've got a piece of white to go on the top and I've got a scrap of white for my sentiment. So the measurements for these are, this is my regular card base. So I de do tend to stick with the same sizes. I change it up a little bit sometimes, but generally. So this is a piece of A4 card and I've scored it in half at 10.5 centimeters. And then I cut it in half at 14.8 centimeters, which gives me two card bases um, out of one sheet of A4 and that's a regular standard size card. And then my layer, my next layer, not very exciting, very standard. I've gone down by half a centimetre to leave a nice border. So this one is 10 by 14.3. And then I've done the same again here. This one is 9.5 by 13.8. And my insert is always the same as the first layer. So my insert is 10 by 14.3 centimetres. So there we are, that's all my measurements. I'll pop it on my blog in the next couple of days, but those are always my standard card size measurements anyway. Right, I'm going to put that to the side. I'm going to look at this gorgeous paper and I'm going to show you the stamp set and dies. So, artfully composed. Isn't this beautiful? So it's got these lovely big leaves. It's got like these palm hearts. It's got this texty stamp here. Um, it's just like, you can, it's not, I don't know if it's in Latin, but it's it's a nice textury text stamp. Then we've got happiest birthday wishes, atten uh, attending, sending all the hugs, and hey there. And we've got a thank you as well. So really versatile uh, sentiments. And these are the dies. You can see how much I've used them. Absolutely use them a lot. So this one, I'm going to be using this one today. We've got this one as well. This is a great one. I'm going to be using that in a minute. So that one cuts out this stamp, but it also cuts out some of these on here. We've got this big one here. This one cuts out this one. So if you stamp it and then cut it out or cut it out and then stamp it either way. Okay, you've got this one, which is a standalone frond, but echoes the same kind of design as that, uh, which I've used a lot. Then we've got the palm hearts and we've got two kind of crosshatch texture in kind of emboss. Um, they leave little lines, they're cut lines in your cardstock to kind of make an embossed kind of texture. And then we've got this, you can see I've used this one a lot. This is like a layer uh, edge. Let's take that off there. Morning, Sherry. Thank you for joining, joining me. Oh, you're all the way from Canada. That's fabulous. Thank you very much for joining me. So I've got a bit of washi tape on the bottom of there. So that makes a nice edge on your card if you want one. So what time is it with you? I'd love to know. Right, I'm gonna move it to the side. Move that to the side. These are the dies I'm going to use. Right, well, when I made my sample card, I discovered, interestingly, when I was cutting it out, that if you put it up against here, it cuts it, but it doesn't quite perfectly cut this side. Do you see that? But it doesn't really make any difference when you've cut it out. But this evening evergreen one, it does cut it out. So it's just a slightly variation on this side, but I can't see how. <laughs> but it is, this side is slightly different to that one. And that's absolutely fine. I think I'll change it slightly to my sample card that I made. And I'm gonna use the evening evergreen one. So I'm gonna chop it out of the paper using my snips to start with so I can run it through my die cutting machine. Let's have a look, let's take that one up there. And then I want a couple of these ones. Now, oh, I'll tell you what I'm gonna cut this one out using, not this die, this big one. So this big die that cuts the stamped image out, it also cuts these out like this. This one and this one. Okay, so I'm gonna cut those out as well. 
I don't, you can always use the edges. You can always use these bits on your card as well. So don't forget about those. Use all of your your DSP when you're making your cards. Partial bits are good for putting on the edge of cards, I think. So just cut these out like us so. all. So I've got three and I'll save that one now. I'm going to get my mini boss. Where are you mini boss? I keep it on my table. It's so useful. Super useful to have. And my plates. Mini boss. So useful to have there. Right, let's have a look. See, so we're going to pop this little base plate in like that. Then we're going to pop one of those in, the cutting plate. I'm going to cut this in half. Put this one on. Cut it out. Let's grab a bit of washi, stick it down with. Ooh. Now, it, this, this uh, image doesn't have a stem on it. We're not worried about that. We're just going to cut it out. And you could always stamp it if you don't have the paper and cut it out. Because you have the stamp to match. So you can buy the whole thing as a suite with the faux sea glass shapes in it and everything. Or we can buy all the items individually. If you buy the stamps and the dies together as a bundle under one code, you save 10%. So that is worth doing. So that's come out of there. My grid paper's whizzing about again. <laughs> so there you go. Look how cool that is. Whoops, if I don't throw it around. There, it cuts out brilliantly, doesn't it? So that's one. Get rid of the rubbish. I'm going to go again for the other one. This one is in the spring summer catalog. Um, I call it spring summer, the January to June, and it's the artfully composed Zena, and it is on page thirty-two. Yeah, and I did a great class in March, my March class, um, and all the ladies made lots of cards using this one. Oh, and I think I might have used it for a scrapbook page along the way, but I need to look in my al my last album, but I'm pretty sure. <laughs> Why couldn't you find it, my love? Because were you looking in in the new an in the new annual? Our um January to June lasts until the end of next month. So we've got lots of use of these lovely things. There we are, that bit hasn't come off. There we go. So we've got two leaves. It was one of my favourites, this one. Um, very useful, so I should be hanging on to mine after it's retired. Um, it won't be one that I'll be passing on because I'm going to find it really useful, I think. Right. Let's just put this on so it fits, kind of. That's better. Ish, and then grab that washi tape again. Pop it in. <laughs> I love my mini boss. You kind of very portable. You can take it out and about with you, and you've hardly got anything to carry. <laughs> Right, I'm going to move it out of the way. I shall need it back later, but I'll just pop it over there. Oh, I chopped the tops off, but it's a bit difficult when you're doing it on camera because you can't lean over as well because you can get your head in shot. So I do tend to uh, uh, have a different kind of position when you're filming and crafting at the same time. So sometimes it doesn't go quite to plan, but usually it's pretty good. So, but there's always a way around. So I'm just going to snip that down. Like that, let's go around. 
can always snip around your die cuts to make them fit properly. There we are, that's better. Might get that one a bit better as well. There we go, that will do. It's not going to be seen, half it's going to be covered up anyway. Right, time to crack on. That's half of it made. We have got, make sure I'm using the right card base. I think it's this one, yeah, this one here. And I'm going to do some stamping using the mint macaron and the scripty stamp that's in this. Oh, let's open it up. And I'm going to make my own kind of background. Oh, you're joining early in the morning, Sherry. It's 6am there. You're an early bird. That's dedication. <laughs> Sometimes it's nice to be up early, isn't it? Isn't it nice to be up when it's all quiet and everyone else is sleeping and the world is still kind of waking up? So I'm just going to stamp a few of these and kind of off stamp them like that. I've got an itchy nose. Why does that always happen when you're on camera? And then I'm going to come off the side. Um, I'm just going to use a bit of scrap. I think I've tidied everything up. Oh, here we are. This one will fit. I'm good at um, getting rid of all the rubbish and then I need it. <laughs> oh, I can't think of a better way to start your day either. Um, but thank you. You know, um, just like thinking about crafting and, you know little bit of YouTube or something. It's just, yeah, peaceful. So I'm not too worried that I've got a little overlap here because I'm covering that bit up anyway. Now, here's a here's a moment for you. I don't know if you all agree with me. I think this is a bit of a moment. I've got a brand new chamois. Brand new chamois. Look, look, look. Brand new this morning. <laughs> Let's do it. Well, Let's do it. Oh, very first use of my chamois. It's now not clean and will never be the same. <laughs> That's a moment right there, isn't it? Oh dear, right, here we go. So we have got our script. Kind of looks a bit wonky, but it's fine. Okay, so I'm going to put my evening evergreen fern down. I'm going to get my other leaves, uh, bring it up a bit, I think, like that. And this one over the top, do you see? It doesn't really matter if there's an overlap, it doesn't matter if it's a tiny little bit wonky, it's all good. And I've got my stamping seal and I'm going to use that to uh, stick it down with. So here we go. I haven't used this one yet either, so hopefully it's going to come out. Yeah, it's a new one. So that one on there, I might need to come over a bit actually. I can kind of reposition it a little bit with the seal. So pop it on there. Look at where it's going to go. Put your seat. <laughs> it's not coming out. It's not coming out. What? There we are. Put your seal on there. <laughs> like a soul and this one on the top here we go plenty of it make sure it's stuck down properly so a nice kind of little arrangement of our dies our die cuts from the paper and I've got this uh, nice little scrap of paper that I just found it's just an off cut already cut like that and I'm going to stamp my sentiment. Now, I think, I think I'm going to go for a thank you. You can choose anything you want. Hey there, happiest birthday wishes, whatever floats your boat or whatever you need to uh, have a card for. Because it's one of those cards you could actually make into anything. It could be a birthday or a thank you or what, whatever you like. Um, yeah, you could uh, leave it blank. And then when you need a card, you could pop your sentiment on it afterwards. But I'm going to put thank you and I'm going to match it up with the, um, 
Evening Evergreen ink that matches this one and the card bait, the card layer we've used. That way if I put it on there straight, wouldn't it? That's why I like my grid paper, it helps me. Right, a nice thank you. There we go. <laughs> I've just popped it back on that nice clean chamois. It's going to be bright green now. Oh, yes. Ah, I'm going to bring my trimmer in. I'm just going to chop off the end. And it might have been the same here when I last cut. Oh, similar, similar width, but not quite. Thank you. Just take that edge part off like that. And maybe a little bit off this side, but not too much. You don't want to chop any of your letters off. Like so. Okay, and this is where I'm going to bring in that nice frayed uh, white ribbon. Love this, it's so nice. It's really soft and floppy. And um, my new snips, because I'll keep those for my, for my uh, ribbon for a while. Does anyone else do that? Right, I'm going to put my sentiment in. It's going to go across here like this with a nice thank you. And I'm just going to work out where I want it. And that's going that way, isn't it? So I want them to mirror each other. Otherwise, it look a bit weird. That's it. Move my ribbon all out of the way. Okay, now I could pop it all up, but I think I'm just going to glue this with flax. I think I've got enough layers going on. Oops. To make it a bit fat and squishy anyway. I'm going to bring it over slightly. Actually, centre it a bit more, I think, instead. That's it. And then I love seal adhesive on the back of the ribbon. Because it doesn't soak through, it's easy to use, you don't got to faff around with tape, it's just good. And that is going to go here, I think. So you can still see a bit of that scripty bit under there. I think I'll just trim the fibres off that one. There, it's getting a bit floofy. Is floofy a word? It is now. <laughs> floofy. Right, okay, back of the card. We're going to put some adhesive on there. Plenty of that. And on it goes. Very simple. So if you have... Um, any of the RDSPs that can be cut out with the dies makes a really easy card um, quickly, which I like. Quick and easy, but effective because half the work is done already. You just got to choose your colours and decide where to put them. Like that option. Okay, so all I've done is mirror the colours in the card. On the inside, I think I'm going to bring in my scrappy paper again. And I'm going to bring in this nice big palm leaf stamp here. And I think I'm going to stamp some of those in the mint macaron. Just to come off the edge. One. It's a cool stamp, isn't it? Two. Oh, I smudged that a little bit, but I think we're good. I think we'll get away with it. There we are. So that's that. That can also go on my brand new chamois. And then, oh, coming back in. <laughs> I had bright green fingers when I was making these cards yesterday, ready for today. I was so green. I am not sure why. I just kept sticking my hand in the evening evergreen. <laughs> Thank you. There we go. I think it's such still a juicy ink pad, that's why. <laughs> I seem to get green fingered. <coughs> Not in the way that you'd want. 
Okay, a little bit of adhesive on there and you are good to go. So there we go. There's our first card. So I have a nice thank you card ready to go. Or it could have been a birthday or anything else. Just a note, hey there, anything you like a get well so that's that one and then we're going to make another one another quick and simple card using this um this suite i'm using the same color scheme so what i've done is when i scored and cut my a4 card stock i've got two card bases and i'm making both cards out of one sheet so this is the second one um, what I've done, I've slightly changed the measurements for the layers on this one, but all I've done is skip a measurement. So instead of making this one, one, um, sorry, this one half a centimetre smaller on two sides, I've made it a centimetre. So this is, the space is 10.5 by 14.8, and this one is 9.5 by 13.8, just to give a bit of border, to just for a bit of interest. And this one then is half a centimetre smaller to bring it in. So this one is then 9 by 13.3. Something like that. Something. <laughs> Sounds right to me. So my layer is always the same size. The layer is 14.3 by 10. Cool. So that's where we're at with our bits and bobs. And this is the bit that we're going to stamp on. Now, I'm going to bring back in the mint going to bring back in that nice palm leaf type stamp and going to make our own little background using the stamp. It's kind of making your own DSP I suppose. You can you can stamp all over and it's like creating your own pattern isn't it? So I'm just inking it up and I'm going to randomly randomly stamp on here. And you are going to cover some of it up. Now, when I made my original one, I believe I stamped off. And I'll show you that one in a minute. So, so it made the background much more subtle. A shade lighter, if you like. There we go. Oop. So let's have that one. Coming down there, and then this one. So all I'm doing is popping them in different directions. There's nothing very technical going on, like that. Let's pop that one on the chamois. So you've got this nice kind of pattern you've made yourself. Simple, yeah? Just shut that one up, because I keep putting my fingers in it. And then I'm going to do a little bit more die cutting using our mini boss. So here it comes. Right. That's our base plate. Oops, sorry. This is a great little machine and it does tell you exactly what sandwiches you need for different things. So I'm going to find the die that I wanted to use, which I had out already, didn't I? It was this one. I love this one. I've used it tons. I'll show you why I like it so much. So I've got a piece of card. Will that one fit? It might be a bit fat for that little machine. There we go. It fits in perfectly now. So I'm going to pop that one in there and I'm going to cut this one out. And you will see why I like this one so much. I'm right handed. I don't know why I've got it left handed wise. Let's just turn that around because it's not helpful. There we are. Right, let's pop it in. Even though it's a bit crunky, makes a crunky noise. They all do that. That's it's meant to do that. It's completely normal. Okay, so here we go. We're going to take that one out of there. Let's pop these bits out. So you've got two sides to it. 
one here, one here. So the inside comes out, yeah, and then you can push, I could have had my pokey tool, but you can push the actual, if it doesn't pop out straight away, you can just push it out like that and it just comes out. There we go, so there's that one. So you've got two parts to that. So I'll put that one there. And then I need a piece in the mint, which is also going to be a bit fat for that machine. I just grabbed my scraps as they were. So let's pop that in. But the good thing is you can use all your little pieces. So pop that one in again. And that one. I'm going to do three. So this, this is number two. That's it. Got it. Number two. It's exactly the same thing. these side pieces out. Oh, there we go. So we've got that one. Pull that out. Right, that's that way. And then, let's move that one out of the way. I've got another piece, you can see. I'm gonna cut it out in this color. But I think I'm gonna cut two of these out in the end in this color. You can do as many as you like in whatever color you like. So that's gonna go through there quite nicely. Stay in. Oh. <laughs> We're going there. If I find my take your picture, it will help me rather a lot like this, see? So these will come out. Like this. Just pull it out gently because you don't want to stretch it. I've used this die tons. That one, I don't think I'm going to get another one out of this little bit. I think I'll be very surprised. I did that. I think I'll get a big crease then because there's a bit of a crease left in that one. I'm going to use this scrap I've got here. For my last one. There we go. Let's pop that one through. Go in hard doing it one handed. <laughs> yeah, let's bring it back. All right, that's all of the die cutting. You'll be very pleased to know. Let's move my little boss, my mini boss over there. Right. Back in the room. Here we go. all this mess everywhere so there's our pieces of our card and I've got one here I've got one here I've got one here and I'm missing a pale papaya piece where's that bit gone <gasps> where is it gone 
I don't need it. Oh, thank heaven for that. I don't need the middle of that bit, so that's all right. Let's pop that out. It'll pop up in a minute, probably underneath the grid paper, isn't it? But I don't need it. Thankfully. All right, take this one out. All done. Right. So let's have a look at what we're going to do with it. I'm going to take one of these. And I'm going to pop it here. Okay. And then I'm going to put the insides of one of the other colours. This is the mint macaron. And I'm going to infill it back in. Yeah. So that's how it's going to look. It's really effective, really simple. You just piece it back together. So glue time. Let's use my Tombow for this, I think. So take those out. Now you know what it looks like. We don't need them in there. Come on out, come on out. I'm just going to use a little tiny bit of glue on the wide parts of the die cut. This is a brand new glue, so fingers crossed I don't make a mess because there's a lot coming out. Right, there we are. And I'm going to have a little sentiment panel about here. So I'm going to bring it up a little bit and just have it to the side. Okay, and then I can actually just put my glue in these spots. And then it should spread when I put the inner insides in. Oh, she knows. Right. There we go. It's in. By golly. <laughs> like so. Give it a minute to dry. So I think that's quite effective. I might stretch that out a little bit, but you can push it back in. There you are. Like that. The way that you can uh, swap over the insides of the card. Then I'm going to bring in the pale papaya one. That's going to go down here in the same way. And then I'm going to do the other evening evergreen one as well. Oh, I didn't need two. Oh, I did need two of those. Yeah, I did. Need to find the other innard of that one. I don't know how I've lost the pale papaya one on that one. Right, okay, so we'll put that on there. Oh, it's still in the die, that's okay. And then we're going to fill this one in the same way. Fill it in like that. That's that one. <laughs> You had it the wrong way around. That one in there like that. And then we need this one. This one is the mint one, mint macaron leaf. I'm going to pop that one on exactly the same. Very easy. I think the hardest part was cutting out all the leaves and it's not really difficult, is it? There we go. Put that one over the top. So you're going to kind of cover that other one up a little bit. I think I did it slightly different on my sample one. So I layered that one over the top of that one, but it doesn't matter at all. And then we're going to bring... I wonder if I should do it that way. Have I stuck it right down? Does it really matter? Actually, I'm going to leave it as it is in case I pull it. 
and I don't think it matters at all. Right, okay, so we're going to put the innard in. We've got some bits left over too. Save those for later. I'm just going to go in here like that. Make sure that's in. There. I've got the other bit stuck in there. Look. And then we're going to have to put some glue in here over these parts and that does not matter because you're going to cover it all up with this other one. We just want it to stick well so I'm going to spread it around. Okay, so that's my glue. There we go. So it doesn't really matter, does it? That That's on top of instead of underneath. Right, those bits we'll save for another time. Let's put my lid on my glue. And we're nearly finished with this card. Nearly finished. So we are going to go for a tiny little bit, not too much, embossing. So I have got, what have I got? I have got some white embossing powder in a tub. I've got my Versamark. And I've got happiest birthday wishes because it's nice to have a birthday card. Thank you, Sherry. It's nice to have a bit of like a uh, sentiment that will pop out on the evening evergreen. So I went for white. Happiest birthday wishes. Stamp it in the Versa mark. You can't really see very much because it's clear until the magic happens. Here's a little tub. If I can open it, we'll get into it. I need to refill it, don't I? It's nearly empty. Got a little spoon. There we go. Happiest birthday wishes. Give it a tap. Like that. Put my lid back on because I'm only going to make a mess if I don't. And I'm going to bring in a brush. I've got a tiny little paintbrush because any stray little... Oops. <sighs> Let's just do that again, because I just managed to go a bit mad with my paintbrush. And take off the bits I didn't want to take off. You only want to get the stray bits off that you don't want, so that's better. Still okay. Saved. Right. So use your paintbrush to get off any little bits that are in the wrong place. Like that. Because you will notice them because they will they will um, heat set into little specks that you don't want. So a little bit of taking care of it makes a lot of difference in the long run. <sighs> okay, time to heat it. Now it might be a little bit noisy, but it will only be for a moment and it's worth it. Happiest birthday wishes. I love seeing this change. There you go, you can see it's starting to gloss up. Yeah. There we go, all done. Now, I'm going to let that kind of set for a minute. It only takes us literally a second, but whilst that's doing that, I will glue my layers together. So where's my snail? Here you are, stamping seal is what I mean. Pop that one onto this one. Give yourself a nice little border. And then some more on the back. So you can see you have a bigger border on this one. I think it just makes that green pop a little. 
and then on the inside I'm going to do the same again so where I kind of made our own pattern here I'm going to do that on the inside of the card um, but before I do that I'm going to stamp the happiest birthday wishes in the evening evergreen I'm very gluey from the Tombow I am a messy person. <laughs> oh dear. I do get in a sticky mess sometimes. Happiest birthday wishes. Gonna put that back on my nice clean chamois, make it bright green again. <sighs> and in with the mint. In with the mint and that big palm leaf. The same colour again that we've used before. Every time I stick my fingertip in that ink pad. There we are. Happiest birthday wishes. Before I get carried away and there's nowhere to write. <laughs> we can't have that, can we? Oh dear. So I'll glue that one and pop that one in. And then we can put our sentiment on. Yes, I definitely think I needed another packet of this paper because I want to make a lot of scrapbook pages with it. So I think I need to order a new one. Okay. So, yeah, the paper that goes with this suite is so nice. I'm going to cut this out using my trimmer. There's no measuring involved. I just like to leave a tiny gap at the end of my word uh, so that there's a nice gap and I'm not cutting it off. Make it even both ends. And then underneath, make sure I'm not chopping any letters off like that. Just eyeball it. And you should have a nice little sentiment panel with no bother at all and this was going to go on here but I am going to pop it up not so much layers with this one so it's going to get popped up on some sticky foam dimensional pads like that so I've been playing a lot with the new products from the new annual catalogue um and I was thinking, you know, we've got so many beautiful products in the January to June. We don't want to forget about those. So that's why I thought, I'm going to get this one out today. So there we go. So that's that one. But I can't find my sea glass shapes. Where are you, sea glass shapes? I have no idea. I have got all sorts of uh, gems around the place. Many, many. But do you think I can find my sea glass shapes? They have disappeared. I don't know. I might use these are the matte dots. I think I might just put a couple of those on there. Use a couple of these. The grey even would be nice. I think I'm just going to go with the black because it kind of looks a little bit like the um, evening evergreen. Yeah, I'm actually liking that on there. That's weird, isn't it? But why not go for it? Deciding, right, pop it there. Oh no, that's too symmetrical. Come on, glue dot, off you come. No, you're not moving. You can move. It's glued to me. There we go. So we've got that one on that one. And I will find something else to go on our other one. Although, it might go well with this. I might do that again. Why not? Why not indeed? I've got a load more of these too. Yeah, why not? There we go. All done. So a couple of cards using the Artfully Composed Suite. This is my sample one I made of this one. So you can see it's slightly different. Didn't put any of the gems, the dots on this one. And I have used this one, this from the design series paper. So I think this one must be the jade one 
yeah so I've used that one instead of the evening evergreen which I've used there so it's pretty much the same just a little different I've got a thank you I've put a little bit of the scripty stamp behind there I wasn't sure if I liked it but yeah so that's that one and then this is the sample one of this card that we've just made um, and I stamped the fern or the palm leaf off before I stamped it again onto my white. And I actually think I prefer this one now. I don't know. Tell me what you think. Which one? Do you like the full strength background or do you like the stamped off background? I'd love to know. Tell me what you think. I'm going to add some dots to these afterwards before I pop the pictures up. So, yeah. Hope you have enjoyed it. Thank you if you've joined me live for Fun Friday. It's always nice to wind the week down with a bit of fun paper crafting and make some nice cards to send in the post. Um, I am back live on my Facebook uh, page on Tuesday at 1pm for my Coffee and Cards Facebook Live I do every single week. And I'll be back here next Friday for uh, at 11 o'clock for Fun Friday. You like the full strength too, Sherry. I agree with you. I think when I saw that on its own, I liked it. But now I've seen this, I like this much more. It's just kind of, it's there. It's not half and half, is it? Yeah, I agree. Thank you for that. Um, yeah, so thank you. If you like any of the products I've used, you can find them in my online shop at Kate.com katebolt.stampinup.net and you can find loads and loads of inspiration over on my um, website inkstampshare.ink and you'll find this month's host code there so if you do an online order make sure you put that host code in because I'll send you a thank you card and a thank you present uh, every month for ordering me with me and um, yeah if you're new to my channel please give me a thumbs up and please subscribe it helps me lots and tell me which one you prefer I would love to know Thank you for joining me. Thanks, Amanda. You're an absolute sweetheart. I didn't know you were there in the background. And I will see you next week for some more fun paper crafting live. Take care. Bye-bye.